49ers at Cowboys. So, uh, again, it's not like this is a super intriguing matchup because it this definitely seems like both teams are dead in the water when it comes to the playoff race. Uh, if the Niners went out to finish with an 8-8 record, that's likely not enough to get them to the playoffs. If the Cowboys went out, that gets them to a 7-9 record. And let's see, Washington's already sitting at 6-7, and seven, which means Washington would need to win exactly one game. Yeah. <laughs> Seems unlikely that Washington loses all three in the upcoming weeks. So Dallas is definitely just... The chances of you winning the division are so freaking low. It's it's not even close to what anything should be reasonable. Now, Niners look somewhat good against the Redskins. I'll explain to you what. The defense looked solid. Now, I understand Alex Smith went down at a certain point, but Alex Smith wasn't looking good before he went down with an injury. Uh, I mean, obviously, Dwayne Haskins didn't look good because he's Dwayne Haskins. So, I mean, obviously, you're going to have problems with him. He's just not that great of a quarterback. But... The Niners' defense is very, very solid. It's very well coached. Kyle Shanahan's such a good head coach. And the NFC West is home to some of the best coaches in the NFL. I think Cliff Kingsbury might be the worst head coach over there. And that's saying something because he's not a bad head coach at all. Uh, Cowboys are extremely poorly mismanaged. Mike McCarthy's just not a good coach at all. He's a bad coach. He's not a good one, to be sure. Uh... I just I think the Niners win here. I think their defense is very solid. They'll probably get some pressure on Andy Dalton for some turnovers. Uh, Nick Mullins can, as long as he doesn't turn the ball over, I think the Niners win this one here. So give me the Niners. They're favored by three. Give me the Niners to win this one.